Welcome to Terminology in Healthcare and Public Health Settings, Understanding Medical Words. This is Lecture B, Prefixes and Suffixes. In this second lecture of Understanding Medical Words, we will cover prefixes, suffixes, word building, and singular and plural endings. The objectives for this unit, Understanding Medical Words, are to discuss the four parts of medical terms, recognize word roots and combining forms, identify the most common prefixes and suffixes, describe the anatomical positions, define the body planes, identify regions of the body, define directional and positional terms, Build, divide, spell, and pronounce common medical words. A prefix is added to the beginning of a term. The prefix may provide additional meaning, such as the location of an organ, the number of parts, or the time or frequency. As an example of location of organ, enter means between. As an example for number of parts, hemi means half. And an example for time or frequency, pre means before. Here are more examples of prefixes and their meanings. Ab means away from. Ante means before or forward. Brady means slow. Endo means within or inner. Hyper means above or beyond. Hypo means under or deficient. Here are more examples of prefixes and their meanings. Infra means beneath or below. Enter means among or between. Macro means large. Micro means small. Peri means around. Post means after or behind. Pre means before or in front of. Here are our final examples of prefixes and their meanings. Retro means backward or behind. Sub means below or under. Super means above or excess. Tacky means fast. Trans means across or through. Ultra means beyond or excess. Memorizing this list of prefixes will be extremely helpful to you as you proceed with your study of medical terminology. Now, let's move on to our study of the suffix. A suffix is attached to the end of a term. The suffix may provide additional meaning about the condition, disease, or procedure, such as condition, algia means pain, disease, itis means inflammation, procedure, ectomy, means removal of. All medical terms must have a suffix. This is the only mandatory word part. Here are more examples of suffixes and their meanings. Algia means pain. Size means cut. Dinia means pain or swelling. Ectasis means dilatation. Itis means inflammation. Logi means the study of. Lysis means destruction. And here are a few more examples of suffixes and their meanings. Megaly means enlargement or large. Oma means tumor. Osis means condition, usually abnormal. 
pathy means disease. Rhea means discharge or flow. Sclerosis means hardening. Stenosis means narrowing. Taxis means movement. Truffy means growth. A suffix may be used to convert a word root into an adjective and a complete word. Adjective suffixes typically mean pertaining to. This new word can then be used to modify another word. Here is an example of an adjective suffix. To state that a patient has an ulcer in his stomach, we take the word root gastro, which means stomach, and then add the suffix ik, which means pertaining. When we combine the parts, we drop the o because we don't use the two vowels together. We therefore get gastric, or pertaining to the stomach. So a gastric ulcer is an ulcer that is found in the stomach. Some suffixes may refer to procedures, diagnoses, and or surgeries. Here are some examples. Synthesis means a surgical puncture to remove fluid. Ectomy means to cut out or surgical removal. Gram means recording or picture. Meter means device for measuring. Ostomy means surgical opening. Some more examples include otomy means cutting into. Pexy means surgical fixation, which means surgically making something immobile so that it cannot move. Plasty means surgical reconstruction. Rafi means suture. Scope means instrument for viewing. Word building means being able to put together the various parts to form a variety of terms in order to convey the necessary medical information. Word building begins with knowing the meaning of the various parts in order to select the correct ones. Always remember the rules regarding the location of each word part. Now let's try interpreting a medical term using the information we have just learned. How would you translate the word echocardiogram? Remember this easy method when trying to interpret and translate medical terms. First, divide the term into its word parts. Echo, cardi, o, gram. Next, define each word part. The first part of the word, echo, means using ultrasonic waves. We know that cardi refers to the heart. The O is a combining vowel that has no meaning. And finally, gram refers to a recording. By combining the meanings of the word parts, you can easily interpret an echocardiogram as a recording of a heart test using ultrasonic waves. Many medical terms come from Greek or Latin words. The rules for forming plurals for these words are different from English. An example is the plural form of bacterium, which is bacteria, not bacteriums. If, however, the word is derived from English, we would follow the English rules. An example is the plural of ventricle, which is ventricles. Memorizing these examples of the general rules for making medical terms plural will be essential in your study of medical terminology. Abbreviations are commonly used throughout healthcare in order to save time. Unfortunately, abbreviations can sometimes be confusing. If you are worried about confusing someone with an abbreviation, 
always spell the term out. And please remember not to use your own personal abbreviations, as others will be unfamiliar with them. This concludes Lecture B of Understanding Medical Words. In summary, we covered prefixes, suffixes, word building, and singular and plural endings.